It's Morphin Time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection King Swings. Absolutely ecstatic about this one. Why? I know I say that a lot, but I have a personal bond with this figure. I had the King Swings toy as a child and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Unfortunately, don't have it anymore, so when the Lightning Collection Hasbro came out and they announced this guy, I was like, oh my god, all the memories came back and I was just, I have to get this. So, here we are now, let's have a look at it. Man, I was all kind of excited and uh, that just kind of went out of the window now that I look at it. Size, so, he stands at about 19, uh, 19 and a half centimeters to the top of his crown going all the way up there. That means we have 7.8 inches tall. For your size comparisons, I have. Here we have Jolter, the Lightning Collection Lord Dragon, SH Figure Arts Green Ranger, and Darkseid. Let's get to critiquing because uh, I have a lot here. First and foremost, the face. It looks kind of weird. It looks a little more realistic. It looks more like a horror monster when it should look pretty goofy. You know, Power Ranger villains, Power Rangers in general, it was made for kids. This guy. He looks more like a wolf or whatever, and not like a. He had like a really dark face in the old one. That's like just put a picture up on the side so you can have that. And by the way, yes, there is no paint in his mouth or on his nose. The nose should definitely be black. Probably have to do that myself. Um, the eyes are nice and shiny. There's some shading on the face and all throughout the figure. That's cool, but there's no paint in other places. Like what I mean by that is. The entire body is just kind of gray plastic and it definitely looks like it. it even has a little bit of color difference I feel like between the torso and the chest area and also the paint on his crown or if there's a name for this entire thing that engulfs his head the blue lines are freaking awful man uh, there's like they can see where they are connected yeah it goes over the line over there and just a little bit over there and uh, yeah not 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 great then you have the wings in the back which they have like a dry wash or whatever. It has a lot more of a presence actually, just because of the paint. There's actually paint on there, so. Molded detail in the entire, throughout the entire body that is, which is pretty cool. I mean, that is appreciated, but then again, not only the face, but even the rest of the body, I feel doesn't really line up with the original design. First thing that comes to mind is the, the entire torso area. His muscles really kind of pop out on the original, and it, it seems here like it's just, melting into the body so it's not really as interesting to look at also the forearms are a lot bigger when the forearms on the figure are just you know regular they look like regular forearms regular muscular forearms detail in the chest area which is actually nicely painted with the red also a bit more of a shiny red there's some more paint in his loincloth and some more shading throughout the muscle work i mean i dig the shading i i gotta give him props for that also there's some around over there and the feet, which actually very cool. We have these anchor rockers over here, and this entire piece moves around, which is molded, and it looks good. And also, there's a tail in the back, which is connected by a ball. So, there you got that. For your articulation, the head is on a ball, and you have a hinge in the neck. But obviously, because of the crown, you're not really getting that much. You can move it around on the ball a lot, because they left all that kind of room in there. But uh, yeah, goes back for it does some tilting and it would probably go all the way around because this is soft plastic it does lift up does not get into the way then for your wings they are connected via very very small pegs and you have a hinge in there so i hope it stays in there i had a lot of trouble connecting it had to heat it up had to heat up the body because the body is hard plastic chest area you have just a little bit of wiggle motion back forward and then you have this big crunch over there also for the shoulders, what is, not, what is not great, you have the shoulder pad which just gets into the way. It is soft plastic, it does lift up, but the shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder, not to the torso, which uh, is incorrectly. Well, you have a hinge in there, and as you can tell, it's just immediately pushed back by it. Can rotate it all the way around, have a bicep swivel, double hinged elbow, which is actually very nice, and a hinge in the hand, which does go up and down a little bit it doesn't have the greatest range because it didn't leave that much room also swivels for the lower crotch piece 
It does actually not move around. It is just connected to the body itself. So leg moves forward, leg moves out to the side, leg moves to the back a little bit, is blocked by the butt, and then you have this awful fire swivel. I hate it because it just cuts up the sculpt and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like those. Then we have a double hinged knee with the knee pad on there. Let me get this up. Okay, this one, now we go. And for the foot, actually very nice. You can rotate this, swivel it around, and you can bring the foot side to side, forward and to the back on this hinge. And also the tail, as I said, is on the ball, moves around freely, no problem there. For your accessories, you got a staff, which uh, is just blue and orange, nothing too fancy about it. It looks all right, I know. Then you have this energy fact, which has some question marks in there and just a bunch of red lightning. You can slide that around somehow of the staff. I don't really know how. I'm gonna try it out later. Then you got the open hand, one open hand and a fist hand. The open hand actually is for the staff and it does have a hinge that moves up and down other than back and forth. So that's a little bit of variety there and a fist hand for the other hand. And thus, we arrive at the final thoughts for this Kingswings figure. What do I think about it? <sighs> like I'm saying, all my excited is out the window because the missing paint, the figure is not really, really accurate in some parts to the show, the sloppy paint, especially the blue lines and whatnot, and yeah, pretty much some other mold issues here and there. So the articulation is good and it does look okay, you know, it does look passable as a figure in general, but even though it doesn't really 100% go after the source material, it's a... Uh, I guess yeah, another interpretation, which it's not supposed to be. It says on the box, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, yada, 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 whatever. So, yeah, I cannot really... <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sad. I'm really sad about it. But yeah, cannot really recommend this one because it's it's just kind of lazy. There's just some, some issues that could have been prevented and it's, especially the missing pain is just bad. Just bad. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at this face. This is bad. This is not good. All right. So there you go. Not recommended. That's pretty rare that I have that, but yeah. That's gonna do it, guys. Sad as usual. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to your channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever King Swings wants. Way too much for me to list. I mean, I just did actually. So go back and watch the video again. <laughs>